Hey, what is going on guys? It is Pro here and today I am going to be showing you guys how to install and use Schematica on Minecraft 1.8. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you how to do this in my comments. So I decided I'm going to do it and uh, here we are. So uh, first things first, there is three uh, things that you're going to need to download. I'm going to leave all the links in the description So you can just click on those download it and you'll be set to go So the first thing is forge for minecraft 1.8 Second thing will be schematica for minecraft 1.8 and third thing will be Luna Lunatrius, I think is how you say it Lunatrius core uh, for 1.8 so go here i have all the uh the tabs open so for the forge when you're on this page right here you go right here to 1.8 there'll be three options make sure you're on the 1.8 uh, not 1.8.8 or 1.8.9 make sure you're on just 1.8 and then go down here to download recommended and click installer i've installed all of this already but once you click this it'll take you to this page you'll wait six seconds you'll hit skip it'll download and then you'll have that uh, second thing is schematica when you're on this page right here <clears throat> you just go over here to the right side and i noticed that they have it for 1.9 i i don't know like if there's i mean if you're going to be building things with 1.9 i guess you can you can try that one but right now we're just doing it for 1.8 so over here on the right side, scroll down to see Minecraft 1.8 and click the little red arrow thing to the left of the most recent uh, version right here. When you click that, it'll uh, go to this page and it'll say it'll download automatically. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. Um, same thing with the Lunatrius. You just go over here to the right side, find Minecraft 1.8. And click the little red arrow next to the most recent version uh, once you have those downloaded first thing is first make sure you open up minecraft and you run just minecraft 1.8 make sure you have ran the version before you install this um, just a little heads up because it might not work if you don't so make sure you run just minecraft 1.8 and then you could close out of Minecraft and you'll be fine. Um, once you have done that, just double click on Forge, the Forge one. I have all three right here. So double click Forge. It'll bring this up. Um, make sure install client is checked and then hit OK. It'll automatically install and then you'll be good there. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Uh, and then after that, what you could do is just right click on your desktop and create a new folder and name it mods, M-O-D-S, and just put these two mods right in there, the Schematica and the Lunatrius. Just put both of those right in there and keep that on your desktop. <clears throat> the third thing, or the next thing you need to do is go into your roaming folder, which means you need to do percent app data percent hit enter and then go into your dot minecraft folder once in here you i don't if you have other mods you might have a mods folder um these mods will and can conflict with other mods so i would keep them separate um as you can see up here i have my my single player world edit my 1.8 schematica um, I don't remember what this one is. Oh, this is my one one seven ten schematica, um, and then this is like my my world download, my chunk borders, like all of that stuff. So I have I have different mods folders for each thing. Um, so if you don't have a mod folder, so we'll just take that one out. Uh, if you don't have a mod folder, then just drag this mod folder into here. If you do have a mod folder, I suggest uh, creating another folder on your desktop and putting that mod folder that you already have in here into that one and then put this new one in here. Uh, because like I said, there are some mods that it will conflict with. 
So if you do try and run it with other mods and it doesn't work, then that is probably your, well, most likely your problem. Um, so just run it by itself. So once you have that installed, what you want to do is uh, run your Minecraft. I have it set up right here. Um, so I'm just actually going to delete this profile. Uh, delete profile. Okay, and then uh, go to new profile. Name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do 1.8 uh, scan. And then down here for your uh, versions, hit your drop down arrow and the forge is gonna be all the way at the bottom. It'll say 1.8 forge, make sure it's the same version that you just installed uh, on your desktop. So um, click on that. Oh, here we go. So click on that and then hit save profile and then go uh, choose that profile right there and then hit play. So once you hit play, it'll load it up. If it doesn't look like this when you load it up, it's most likely not going to work. Uh, just an FYI. So once you load it up, um, as we can see, if I click on mods, you have Schematica, you have the Lunatrius core and all that other stuff. Um, and then if you already have schematics and uh, you need to install them, the best thing to do is, is go like, well, okay. Let's say you don't have a schematic folder yet. So this is my dot Minecraft. I just created a shortcut because it's a lot easier. Um, if you don't have a schematic folder, you can create one or you can go like onto Minecraft with Schematica and you could just like make a little schematic like of a block or something and it'll automatically create a folder for you. But if you don't have a schematic folder, you could just create one, just name it schematics, all lowercase. And then you could put whatever schematic you downloaded into there. And then when you look up Schematica, so let me go onto my test one here. So when you're on here, you can hit the divide key. And then this is like all the schematics that I have right here. Um, so let's just, uh, let's just load up the, I don't know. Let's just load up the, the 40 stacker. <clears throat> okay, so we have, actually, let's not do that one. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. Okay. So I, I don't know why, but I forgot to put a four on this one. Um, so let's do a different one. <laughs> I'm just going to change it a whole bunch of different times. Okay. Let's do the, let's do the two thirty. Okay. There we go. All right. So in order to move your schematic, you hit the minus key and you can move it wherever you like. Uh, this one doesn't have anything under it, so I can move it pretty much all the way down. Oh, well. He's got it to where, okay. Yeah, we'll just move it all the way to the floor. So uh, you just open up your schematic just like this. It'll show you like the whole thing. It'll show you the repeaters. It'll show you the ticks of the repeaters. It'll, it'll show you literally everything that you schematic. Um, and a really cool thing is, so like let's say this repeater right here, because this repeater's on a tick. So let me get, uh, a redstone and a repeater. So when you place it, it'll get rid of the blue, right? So if we place this, because it's on, it had full ticks, what you have to do is when you put it on full ticks, it'll get rid of it. Otherwise it's gonna be orange. So that's how you know if uh, something's not right. But there is a thing with the dispensers. Some dispensers will show up orange, like no matter what. Um, that doesn't mean they're bad, it doesn't mean they're placed wrong. They just they just show up orange. The only dispensers you need to watch out for is if you're using printer on a server that allows it. Don't use printer on any server that doesn't because it is definitely bannable, um, especially cosmic. You can use it on the cannon planet on cosmic, but not on the planets. Um, but when you use printer and you're printing uh, dispensers, sometimes it'll it'll turn them around like backwards. So you just got to kind of watch out for that because 
if it is turned around backwards and you don't pay attention and you shoot the cannon, well, rip cannon. Uh, at least where that dispenser was. So make sure you pay attention to all the dispensers when uh, you place them. Um, any block that is wrong, um, like if we place this up into here, it's going to be red. So that's how you know if a block is wrong. Um, and pretty much that's it. So if you want to save a schematic, let's just make a little, I don't know, something here. Let's just let's make a little guy, I guess. Uh, so those are his legs. Let's, let's bring that over here. And then let's give him a green shirt like this. Um, and then let's get some clay. Let's give him a head. Oh, that's a, that's a tiny head. Okay, we'll, we'll give him a, a bigger head. And then can we get like, hmm, oh, a button. Let's get a button for his eyes. Yeah, let's, let's do some button eyes. Wow, that, okay, yeah. <laughs> this guy looks so cool. Um, let's get uh, an item frame. Let's do an item frame for his mouth. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is looking so good. Oh my god. Okay, let's get some black wool. So we're gonna get him we're gonna give him a hat. You know? Like he's got he's gotta have that cool hat. Uh type whatever yeah. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I should be an artist. Just saying. Okay. So this is a this is a hat. Yep. It's a really big hat, but it's okay. And then um Let's just let's just give him let's just give him some arms here, you know. Let's have that one pointing out. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So that let's say we want to schematic that. Okay. I mean that is really good. That's man, I'm proud of myself. Okay. So if you want to schematic this, what you want to do is you want to go to either side of him, kitty corner. So let's say we want to start from this side. What you want to do is you want to hit your times key. And down here in the bottom right, you want to turn this on, okay? And then you'll hit red point. So that is the red point of the schematic. And then you'll go down here to the opposite corner below it. You'll hit your times key again, and you'll hit blue point. So this green box is what you're going to be schematicking. So we want to make that smaller. So let's take this blue point. Let's move it in. Let's move in the red point. A couple okay so oh we got we gotta move that back ooh, we went we went a little too far okay so let's uh, move that out by one okay so we're one block one block one block then we need to move the blue one uh, no nope, wrong one and to right there okay so we're one block on each side and that's the schematic that we want to save we can actually uh, bring the red one down to right there so it's going to get his hat and that's it so let's say we want to save that schematic what you'll do is you'll hit your times key again down here in this box just uh name it whatever you want to save it as so let's name this as a uh, cool guy and then we'll save it okay and then over here in the in the left in your chat it'll say that it uh, was saved so now if you want to bring that schematic up again just hit your divide key. You'll find your your schematic, our cool guy, and there we go. Then we can uh, we could build it somewhere else, and it'll be exactly the same. And then if you want to like rotate it or something, just hit your minus key, and you can go over here and hit rotate, face it, whatever you want. Um, a lot a really good thing is like when you're building uh, cannons, you can do it layer by layer. So. Let me get that cannon back out. So let's put that there. So if we want to do it layer by layer, you hit your minus key and over here where it says all, just switch that to layers. And then each layer, you can see each layer of it. And then you could build each layer at a time. So that way, like if you're new to building it, then you won't like miss anything. And it's, it's really handy, um, especially with like certain cannons. It's really, really handy. But if like you want to check and make sure everything's looking good, you could just hit hide 
right there. You can hit show. Um, you can move it wherever you want to, as I showed earlier. Um, if you do want to do printer, let me actually move the whole thing down. So if you do want to do printer, let me show the whole thing, hold on. Um, if you do printer, what you do is you hit your minus key and over here in the bottom left, you could turn that on. Um, also, if like you're trying to build something and you want to know like all the blocks or something, you could just click materials and it'll show you exactly what is on the, on the entire schematic. So this schematic has 555 dispensers on it, which is a lot. That is, that is quite a bit. <clears throat> um, but if you want to print it, just turn on printer and go close to it. Um, this will only work if you're in game mode. Uh, otherwise, you have to have the materials in your inventory. But like I said, a lot of servers do not allow this. So make sure whatever server you're playing on, uh, make sure to find out if they allow this because most servers, it is definitely bannable, 100%. Uh, like I said before, Cosmic only allows it on the Cannon Planet, nowhere else. So, um, yeah, just a little, just a little heads up. So now we can turn it off, and as you can see, all these are on the wrong delays. So we can just put all those on the right delay, and then they'll all turn normal, just like that. And uh, yeah, so. That is uh, how to download and to use Schematica. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. I try and read all of them and I answer most of them depending on the question. I do get some really weird questions. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, make sure you have a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh,